Yeah, breath wise you did good. Good. Now we started. Okay. Now we have seen the lateral cord branches, medial cord branches. Now we will see the posterior cord. Now why posterior cord? This is the axillary artery, isn't it? So axillary artery from this border. You can see this is the latissimus dorsi. From this point onwards, where the latissimus dorsi is getting attached to the humerus, from here it will be called as brachial artery. Okay. So from the outer border. Uh, of the clavicle to this border this is called axillary artery so where i'm holding from that point onwards it is brachial artery so behind this brachial artery this big nerve this is the posterior cord and what is the continuation uh, nerve of the posterior cord that is nothing but radial nerve so this whole radial nerve you should identify first in the posterior cord so once we get the radial nerve i uh, uh, try to find out the nerve to the latissimus dorsi how it is uh, easy because you found a uh, uh, latissimus dorsi muscle already so i got some neurovascular bundle here unfortunately the nerve got cut a little here you focus here focus here directly here uh, uh. so you can see this nerve if i here this is the beginning origin of this okay this is the posterior cord now this is the posterior cord so it is arising little deep inside so this is the same thing it is getting attached isn't it ha ah, light there good so it is coming obliquely first if you see this diagram in cunningham exactly same to same it will come so here actually it got cut then it is coming and supply the latissimus dorsi that means it is compulsorily known that this is nerve to the latissimus dorsi or thoracodorsal nerve and always remember this let uh, thoracodorsal nerve will always accompany the vessel called subscapular uh, vessels okay subscapular artery and there will be one accompanying vein so now this is the posterior cord and this is the axillary artery so here you can see one branch is coming here and going downwards towards the latissimus dorsi so this is subscapular artery it will go down and before when it is going down it will give a small branch here you focus here can you see this branch so this branch you can see it is piercing this area uh, the where the teres major is there and it will appear in the upper triangular space that means this what is the this branch this is circumflex scapular okay so after giving the circumflex scapular it will go down and it will supply this area latissimus dorsi so remember thoracodorsal nerve and subscapular artery will be together okay next i'll show you axillary nerve the how to get the axillary nerve it is also from the posterior cord i have tied here this is the radial nerve which i'm pulling down and this where i have tied you notice this is the axillary nerve okay focus exactly close this is the axillary nerve you can see the best part is it is arising here and it is going backwards so how to how i identify the axillary nerve exactly first you try to locate the head of the humerus then this is a little depressed area that is the surgical neck and you know that axillary nerve will go backwards and will find it in the quadrangular space okay and uh, it will be supplying the deltoid and teres minor isn't it surgical neck of the humerus so it is axillary nerve so that's how one by one nerve you should identify so axillary artery behind you got the radial nerve then you got the thoracodorsal nerve okay then this is the axillary nerve so axillary nerve it will arise here and directly it will go immediately posterior okay and we will find it in the quadrangular space okay now then one more nerve here and uh, axillary at the same time i tried to find out the posterior circumflex humeral vessels also because this is the axillary artery yesterday we found the posterior circumflex humeral post at the area of axillary nerve this is one branch coming out of the uh, axillary artery and there is another one here this one okay so anterior circumflex humeral and posterior circumflex humeral okay so we got anterior circumflex humeral posterior uh, and posterior circumflex humeral and this is subscapular artery these three are branches from the third part of the uh, axillary artery okay pause
So this one I told you, no, thoreko dorsal nerve, which was coming obliquely, and then, then when I remove some fascia, I got the other nerve of, since this is cut, I'm putting on the side. So this nerve, which is coming down by the side of the thoreko dorsal, this is lower subscapula. Upper subscapula, it is getting little difficult because of venous congestion in this body. Uh, we'll omit it. But I want to show you some other important structure. You focus on this side. So this is the thoracic wall. And uh, here, this is pectoralis minor, no? So, second part, uh, branch of axillary artery, lateral thoracic artery. It will come by the lateral border of the pectoralis minor. Then it will flow like this. So, here, yesterday we had dissected. You can see here. Okay? Trace from here. So, this will come like that along with the long thoracic. Now, you focus here only. So, it was because of the fascia, we uh, pause, pause a little. Pause a little blue color and white color so this lateral thoracic artery will supply the lateral thoracic wall and uh, there will be another nerve okay here this white one that is the long thoracic nerve okay the blue one because of the fascia it is getting little disturbed the lateral thoracic artery and the white one can you see uh, the white one is the long thoracic nerve long thoracic nerve are, uh, it will flow from here if you see in the here right in the apex you focus so this is the long thoracic nerve it will come from the apex then it will fall on the lateral thoracic wall and the same time it will be uh, accompanied by the lateral thoracic artery okay